Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everyone. Jason here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to economy crash, make millions, and also max out your inventory and your exosuit really, really fast, all right? So stick around for that. So, if you've just started out the game, I mean, you have to be a, a partial way through the beginning of the game. You have to get to the point where you have the recipe for uh, antimatter and uh, warp, antimatter housing. That way you can make warp cells because we're going to need to travel from system to system in order to do this. You're also going to want a good amount of starting money. You don't need 7 million units like this. No way, you don't need that much. You could probably do it with a good like 4 million or 5 million, something like that. You don't need that much. So, once you have that, and if you need tips on how to make money to begin with, link up top and down below in the description. You can go out and go find uh, bones. You can fi find salvage and sell it, things like that. You could do the chromium trick or chromatic metal and duplicate uh, cadmium if you want to do that. Any way you want to do it, just do it like that. Get a few million to start out with because we're going to need to buy some items. Now, we're going to be doing a, an economy crash, and this still works in the Beyond update. For all of you guys who played be before the Beyond update, it still works, but you have to do it with wiring loom. That's what the technology modules turned into. So, for the, those of you who don't know, when you buy items from this wall terminal, it affects your economy in that system. So let's go through and buy some items, okay? What we're going to be looking for is this wiring loom right here, okay? And you're going to want to try to buy all of it. So, if I buy all of it, let me actually fast forward this all the way over. If you buy all of these, I'm buying 42, and it's costing me 2.5 million units to do that, okay? I buy all of it, okay? Now, since we've bought all of the... The wiring loom in this system, it is now barren, okay? So now the system does not have any wiring loom, and so it's the most expensive. The less of a product that a system has, the more expensive it is. So if you only have one, it's going to be super expensive. If you have a hundred, they're going to be selling it for cheap because they have way too much. And that's the basic premise of what we're doing here. So let's go on to our next system. So you want to go into your, your galaxy map. And just choose the next system, whatever it is, whatever you can get close to. I'm just starting out, so my starship does not have a really good distance on it. So we're just going to choose up right here. Boom, this one. I don't even have an economy scanner. I'm just going. So we arrive at our new system. So let's look for that, uh, that space station. There you are. And you're going to want to hit the space station because we need to sell. We need to drop off all of our wiring loom, okay? And because we're in a brand new system, their inventory is different than the last system we were in. And because their inventory is different, their economy is not affected by what we just did. And you'll, you'll see what I mean when we get here. And you always want to go to the wall terminal. All the pilots that fly in and they land, you can buy and sell items with them. But they don't change the local economy. All right, They have their own set prices. But if you go over to this wall terminal, it has, it's linked into the local economy for the system. And so it will change it. And this is what I mean by that. Let's go in here. Let's, uh, let's, uh, sell. We're going to sell all of my stuff. So if you come over here, let's go to the wiring loom that I have. Now you see right here, it says wiring loom and right underneath it, there's a white negative 6.2. That means that I'm going to get about 6.2% below the average price. All right? That's what the white lettering means. Now, you see this one is a point plus 42, and it's in green. That means if I had any of those, I'd be selling it for 42% above the average price, which means I'll be making even more money. And then look at this oxygen filter is negative 50.5, and that's red. That means I'm losing 50% of the price. 
So I'm losing 50% of the money it would cost. So that's where that's generally what you want to see. And you'll see between you know negative 10 and positive 10, it'll be white. Because that's like the average. If you're above or below 10%. It, that's about average. Once you start getting above that, like, you know, plus 23, that's when it's really green. Or when you get below that, when it's negative 50, that's when it turns red. It's like, hey, look, it's not worth selling that here, okay? So don't even try it. But if we go over to buy, let's look for the wiring loom. Okay, wiring loom here. If we buy it right now, it's going to be plus 12%. So it's 12% higher than the average price. So it's going to cost us an extra 12% to buy them, okay? So we don't want to buy them yet. Let's sell ours. So we're going to sell ours and we're going to flood the market right here. We're going to sell all of ours. So let's sell 42 and we're going to make $2,100,000 off of it. So we just crashed the economy. So if you go into your buy and we look at it now, now it's at negative 1.6%. So I'm buying it for cheaper than it was before. And so it's a really good price. Let's buy it. And you'll see that it increases every time you do it to an economy. The more wiring loom you have, the more you can crash the system. And so before we go anywhere, the, you notice how the first system I had 7 million. Now I'm at 6 million. You know, you're going to take a loss on the first one, okay? But you're, you're going to start making profit now because I'm buying it for cheaper. I'm buying it for cheaper and I'm going to be able to sell it for even more in the next system. So let's buy all of that. And since we're jumping from system to system, the same time while you're making all this money, run over here. Especially early on because right now I don't have, look at my, I don't have very much inventory to carry all this wiring loom. So why don't we increase our inventory while we're doing that? And so run over here. And you're going to want to buy an exosuit slot. So let's do that. And since we're making money, we could buy whatever you want. So whatever you need to get, buy it. I mean, dictation will tell you that, hey, look, you know, it's smarter to get the general inventory suit slots because they're going to be the cheapest. And you want to go to a drop pod to get your cargo slots because they're the most expensive. Look at that. 250000 versus 130 so there's gonna be way more expensive for your cargo but we're gonna be making money hand over fist really soon so that's why I will say get your cargo right now because when you start selling off this wiring loom you're gonna be making tons of money and it'll be worth it in addition to that I mean I'm getting a lot of wiring loom but if you move it over to your cargo you can fit twice as much in every slot so this will fit 10, whereas in your general, you only can fit 5 per, per slot. And so your cargo is definitely something to look into because you can carry more in there. You can carry more normal inventory. You can carry more like high-tech stuff like that. But we've done that for this system, so let's move on to the next one, okay? That's where we need to go. Just keep hopping from system to system. Let's go to the next one. So once you've landed, let's go over here. And actually, you know what? I'm going to do it the more efficient way just to show you guys. Because I do have money, enough money to buy another suit slot. So let's do that again. That way I increase my capacity a little bit more. That way I can buy some more. Going to do the cargo. And we're spending the most money, but that's okay. We're going to be making it because it's totally worth it to economy crash this place. 
And remember, the last one, the last system we were in, we were buying the uh, wiring... Uh, I keep wanting to call it tech module. It's a wiring loom for, what is it, 14? Minus 14? So we were getting 14% better prices on it. So we're going to sell. And look what we can sell it for. Boom. We're selling it for negative 12. So we're still selling it for an increase at this point because we bought it at negative 14 and we're selling it at negative 12, which means we have a 2% increase. So we're, we're selling it for a 2% profit. That's fine because now we're going to buy it and now we're buying it at a negative 31. Let's do 25. We're buying it at a negative 31. So heck yeah. And I think we're maxed out. Let's see. Yep. Oh, I could buy 10 more. Let's buy 10 more. So you want to get as much as you can at the lower price. That way when I sell it, it'll be for that lower price. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Boom. So we've done that. Let's move on to the next one. We got our suit slot and we've sold our tech. So let's go to the next one. And I will say never go back to the same system and for those of you guys worried about uh hurting the game in some way when you crash an economy it only stays crashed for two hours okay there's a two hour time limit and it's real life time not game time so you don't have to play the game for two hours it the, the timer starts counting down the second you leave and so you have a two hour time limit so you never want to go back to the system you've already been to, like this one. I've already visited that one. Don't go back there because the prices are still going to be all jacked up for like another hour and 50 minutes or however long it takes. It takes two hours. Remember that. Two hours for it to reset back to normal. So you never want to go back to an old system you already were unless you go back like the next day, like the next day in real life. And so let's go over to this one. I've never been to this one. Let's go to this system. We landed here. Let's go get our suit slot real fast. And you don't have to buy cargo. I'm buying cargo so I can buy a ton more wiring loom, but you don't have to buy. You could buy general if you need to or tech if you need to. I'm buying my uh, cargo since we're making tons of money. And I want to prove to you how much money we're making because I'm buying this stuff for super expensive amounts and I'm still making money going from station to station. And I've been playing for like maybe 20 minutes. And so this is super fast, super easy, and it's just basic economy crashing. I mean, you could do a lot more uh, like intense stuff if you want to. This is just the easy peasy stuff. So let's sell some more stuff. So we're gonna be selling it for a, ooh, look at this is a good price. We bought it for negative 40, and now we're selling it for negative eight, which is like a 30, what, 2% increase? That means we're gonna be making tons of money off of this. So boom, I just sold it for all that. How much money? I, now I'm up to 10 million units. And it just keeps getting bigger and bigger. The increase will happen as long as you're buying, you have enough room in your inventory and you're buying a ton of wiring loom, okay? And we buy wiring loom because it's the most expensive thing. 
I mean, you could you could try to do it with like sodium diodes, but you can't buy that much, and you can't carry that much. So, eh. I mean, you could do it if you want to, but I like doing wiring loom. It's basically the tech module thing for after beyond. So I bought uh, another one. So boom, and we're only buying it for thirty-seven, but that's okay. We'll be able to crash it higher once we get more uh, of an increase. Want to make sure I have enough. Boom, boom. Okay, we have enough. So we're just gonna. I'm just gonna keep jumping from system to system, hitting the space station, selling, buying my suit, you know, my suit slot, and then going on to the next one. So, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button for me. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel. I'm uploading episodes all the time, and I will see you guys next time.